Today we have the Nico um, remote control Lamborghini. What is this? <laughs> Alright, so here it is. It's pretty small. Uh, there's a lot of small remote control cars out there on the market, but this one's really nice. It's really simple too. It's easy to operate. It's really fast. Uh, Andrew bought it at Radio Shack for $15, which is really good because we really like it. Um, here's the remote. We'll start out with that first. It's The antenna is actually pretty durable. I mean, it's not bendy or anything. I don't think it's going to snap and half. Um, your throttle and your steering, simple. It takes a 9-volt battery with no screws. You just undo that thingamabobber. Um, and then the actual thing here is really just as simple as you get with remote control cars. There's just an on and off switch. There's no switch on this. There's a lot of things like that also. You just turn it on. Uh, it takes two AA batteries. There's no recharging or anything, which I believe they last in there pretty long. Then there's a steering sensitivity, uh, which really if you just keep it on the middle, it'll be fine. But simple, basic, that's pretty much all. Let's show you how it runs. Okay, the Lamborghini is pretty easy to control. It's nice because you can go over some uh, some stuff and do some stunts, but... Aww. Okay, all over, the little Lamborghini is pretty good, fast, maneuverable, uh, one thing that I would say I would, or if I would change, make a longer range controller. It has a range of like 10 feet, it's horrible, but uh, all, all together the car is really great. Uh, if you like this video, please give us 5 stars, maybe 3, please just give us at least 1, and uh, yeah, see you next time.